All right, let's get right back at it. Bernie Champion came into San Antonio to battle an always tough Liberty Hill squad. The Panthers getting things going early on. Noah Long. You know what? They must have named him right after this run because it's a long run. 71 yards for the touchdown. Look at him truck it on down the sidelines. He's in there for the touchdown. Very nicely done. Seven to nothing. Chargers looking to get something going. Carson Kaiser's got all kinds of time. He lets it fly. The only problem is it's picked off. That's Cade McMahon doing the picket. And the Panthers would turn that into this. Grady Flynn gets into the end zone. Touchdown, 20 to nothing. 20 to nothing, Liberty Hill on top. Champion finally on the board. Backup quarterback Jordan Ballin pitches to Alex Rodriguez. He sneaks in for the touchdown, but it was way too much Liberty Hill tonight. The Panthers, they advance winning this one 51 to 14. All right, let's head over to the Alamo Dome where the Corpus Christi Veterans Memorial Squad was taking on Southwest. The Dragons, lots of excitement in the Dome tonight. Aiden Hinojosa looking to complete a pass, but check it out, it's picked off. Southwest with a nice defense, they get the pick. Unfortunately, they would have to punt, and punt they do. It's caught right there at about the 24-yard line. That's all right, but it's Hinojosa again, looking for a spot this time. Yeah, he's got some time, fakes the handoff, and tosses it out in the flat. Cameron De La Pena, he's taken out of bounds right there, but a few plays later, at the one yard line, Luke Moya. Look at it, bam, bam, get out of the way. He sneaks into the end zone, seven to nothing at the break. And uh, Veterans Memorial, where's the final? 26 to seven, Vets Memorial getting it done. How about Navarro? They had to travel to Beeville tonight with a matchup with Port Isabel. Watch Antoine Mebane. Uh huh, watch this guy. Three, two, one, here he comes. Right at you, following the blockers, knocking that guy off. And then he steps out of bounds right at the three yard line, but it would only prolong the agony. Colton Chambers, he's gonna get the pitch, take it to the outside, get it to the end zone for the touchdown. Navarro up seven to nothing. And this time though, Navarro, they would go to the air. Seth Rodriguez, watch him haul this one in and he's gonna find some daylight. Down the sidelines he goes. You can't catch me, nobody does. 14 to nothing, Navarro on top. But they weren't done. Meebane certainly wasn't done. He had a great night tonight. Check him out. He gets the rock and just bowls his way into the end zone. He goes 20 to nothing, Navarro on top, and they go on to win easily 55 to seven. How about Poteet looking to continue its run? They had to travel to Corpus tonight to battle Vanderbilt Industrial. Check this out. Oh my goodness, Ernest Davila at the one yard line. Not anymore. He's trucking down the field. Nobody's going to catch him. 99 yards for the touchdown. I bet he was tired after that. Seven to nothing, Poteet on the board. But the Industrials, well, they would get something going or they would like to, right? Check it out. Here we go, Jack Carrasco at the end zone, gets the pick. Nice catch, young man. Poteet's football right there. Later though, Industrial would get, the, get on the board. This time, yeah, touchdown right there. That ties the ball game up at 7-7. And this one was a dandy. And how did it turn out? Let's check it out. 14-13, Industrial. They would get the win. Hey, we have a shout out tonight. How about the Brandeis Broncos? In the state semifinals tonight, they played Bridgeland and they win it. Three to one is the final score. Championship game for the state title tomorrow afternoon at five o'clock and Ken's Five Sports will be there. Oh my goodness, good luck to the Broncos. Rough night tonight for a lot of San Antonio area schools. That's all right, still a lot of teams alive. It's a lot of fun. We'll be right back.